Hello there. Welcome to the number one gate. It's always as Farmer says, playing a bit of uh, Project Zomboid. Good. Hi guys, how are you doing? I don't know why I wanted to do that, but I did. All right. Um, okay, a couple of things. New week. New stuff. New nonsense. New sars. And stuff like that. And that is getting in my eyes. Stop that. Um, yeah, so first things first. We've had an update on the uh, test server. So uh, there should be some changes coming. New stuff to test out. Let me just check see. Oh, I've got 49. Right. So today's mission. Uh, I have gone around the edge here. Uh, but... And uh, beaten up a few zombies around the head. Around the heed. Um, haven't changed... Uh, did a little bit of shooting. It's gone a bit darker than usual. I do apologise if... Uh... Ah! Well, that was uh, quite surprising. Any more for any more. Well, today is going to be a, a uh, hit and search sort of thing. Let me have a look. What's going on here? Dead bodies around here. Here's a mate have um, inadvertently annoyed the locals. Let's just have a quick. Now these guys I have dealt with. I think I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I'm surrounded and I'm going to have to do a lot of work today. So uh, I do apologise if that's something that you're not really interested in seeing, but hey, at least my sneak's going to come up. Maybe I shouldn't have left that door open. Let's close that. And, oh, bugger. Things aren't going as well as I hoped, folks. Worker lady here. I might shut this door now. Might be a bit more sensible for me to do that. Rather than allow them to sneak up behind me whilst I'm. Uh... Oh, yeah. Schoolboy error, Saz. Schoolboy error. Right, let's see what we do with the rest of these guys. We work to thin the herd. Okay. And there's a lot of herds to be thinned to be.
main. Let's. Uh, I could probably take these two on directly now. will have to be careful of is that I notice that my steel tube is down onto its last star. And that's going to be quite useful. It's just gone a little bit uh, foggy. Interesting on these guys, apart from that rather lurid yellow lumberjack shirt. Doesn't like a bit of flannel to make your life. Uh... Oh, okay, come on, you. Now I suspect that this whole area is going to be absolutely uh, crawling with zombies, so today might actually be like a full-on. Whack a doodle, so to speak. Well, you're going to have 40 minutes of me pretty much cleaning this place out. I hope that's going to be enjoyable for you. Not enough hydrocrafting, but this is the way this game goes. Sometimes you, you get the opportunity to do some hydrocrafting, and sometimes you've got to do some surviving. And today's a surviving day. Dem surviving words, man. And if you want to survive, you've kind of got to do it nice and slow and easy. An action game, this ain't. Even though there is action. Crap. Let me just uh, see if I can just distract him by running around this corner here. See if they lose interest. Managed to lose two of them. So if uh, oh, don't where I am, I'm at the um, warehouse area stop just south of Mordrop, just uh, a little bit uh, west of the crossroads. Do my best to sneaky, sneaky pop. And kind of failed. <laughs> Yeehaw. I prefer a black hat though, if I'm honest. Less uh, obvious. Ooh, is this an opportunity for a sneaky sneaky pop? No! Ooh. Let's make this place safe first. Ooh. 
And there's bread knife boy over there. I'm over here. Or girl, I think it's a woman. I had her head shaved. Oh, she looks. I don't want to sell that to Machete. Yep, bread knife. Always, always makes me think it's Machete. I'm on long haired lover from Liverpool. Oh crap. Yeah, it might be an idea for me to retreat here. Have a bit of that sunshine. So 24 shots left. Another thing I might want to do. Where the hell are all these guys coming from? Eleven shots left. And I'm hungry. Well, let's, let's move over to Axe, shall we? As fun as it is, sometimes these close quarters things just don't, don't seem to be working. Ah, right, so. They all seem to have come in from here. So maybe if I can return the table, so to speak. See if I can get this guy here. I think I've already caught his eye. Oh, 
Man, I'm not doing too well with the old weapons here, am I? Might be an idea for me to change clips here, to be fair. More magazines. Must remember that. Magazine and clip are two very separate things. Magazine is a housed container for uh, bullets. Whereas a clip is an open container. Hopefully I'll get better. And hopefully I'll find myself a nice uh, bludgeoning weapon here. In these boxes. Yep, you'll do. Ugh, shit metal bar. Put a metal bar all the same. Strap canteens all full. That's awesome. Finally, I'm still overweighted. All oh, right, probably need to get rid of my hand axe there. Put those painkillers out the way. And probably put those uh, magazines all the way too. Now, I remember this kind of design. There's some toilets in here, but I think they have um, like storerooms behind them. So there may be something back here. And there's a thing there as well, so I can check. But these storerooms here. Right. Well, that's a, that's a big fat zero on that one. There's a sheet, which I may end up needing to use for my, uh, my base. Oh, sheet. I'll have a think about that for the moment. Let's. Oh, there's some stuff here. Cool. Oh, bag of grey clay. Interesting thing to find in a bathroom, but there you go. You know, I do actually know that it's probably set up as a uh, stock room or something. So. Oh. Breakout room. Breakout room means there's a potential for food. chips to be fair I ought to really let myself go hungry for a bit because I have noticed that in my uh, thing I've managed to let myself get a little bit on the overweight side it's eating too many nice foods you see So I might start thinking about getting the workbench up and running. I have done a little bit of research and stuff. The workbench is doable. dealt with pretty much most of the zombies that are lying around here. Has he spotted me? I think he might have. So let them swap positions.
Time to check out. Let's see what we've got here. Box of nails. Box of nails, shotgun. So all I seem to be getting is nails and shotgun shells right now. I've already got like about 300 of them back at home with all the shotgun shells I've managed to pick up over the period of time. There's a bicycle there and a trowel. Metal detector, paintbrush, bicycle trowel. Well, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? So he's just never going to find his wood glue. Because he's looking... Oh, canteen there. Can make another strap. Don't know if I need a bug net, but there you go. Hydrocraft and all. A sack. Yep. We need those for hydrocrafting. Paint. <gasps> we've hit the jackpot, boys and girls. We've hit the pat jackpot. So we're glue. I found wood glue. Oh. It's like winning the lottery. Well, that's me done. But let's see how far we can take this, shall we? Because if one of these places is part of PVC pipes, another camping pack. That forklift. Ooh. I see. Don't both hands equip, but that might be something I need to come back to and put in the car. Or what I could do. Clear the path to the car and just take a little bit of a, a a weight dent and take it. I'm hoping my sneak etc is doing alright. I think we're going to start getting flies here soon. Taking out so many damn zombies. <laughs> take both of them on. No, she's walking faster. And there are the old flies. Right, let's make 100% sure that we're fairly clear around it. Okay. There's that group down there, but I don't think they're going to be too much of a hassle for me. If I, especially if I kick to the wall. Right. Big ticket wait item. Let's get it over to the car as quickly as I can. I suspect I'm going to get injured doing it. How much does it worth? 20. Of course, they turn up now.
This is very dangerous, all right? Oh, bugger. Bugger, this ain't gonna be fun at all. Holy moly. That was close, I have to say. That was exceptionally close. I'm so glad that... Uh... That shot came off well. Oof. Rather dramatic, actually, wasn't it? Let's uh, go as fast as we can. Let's find an office. Bed down in the office. It's going to be an uncomfortable night's sleep, but... Actually, there's a sofa, isn't there, back here? It's probably a less uncomfortable night's sleep that I'm going to end up having. Let's see if we can get this forklift back into this truck now without causing too much hassle. But the good thing is, I have the wood glue, so we can carry on with some of the hydrocrafting, hopefully, next episode, unless I'm going to be spending. I mean, it's been 30 minutes now, so. And I haven't even scratched the surface up here, so this could be a couple, maybe the whole week's worth of clearing out and exploring. I hope my sneak is uh, Have you spotted me? I think he might have good no, he hasn't. Oh, go around it. No actual hell. This is weird. They literally cannot... Have they improved? There we go. Let me take a little bit of time. Stealthy Sasby Stealthy, man.
Ooh, I'll take that energy bar. Now I'm a bit of a completionist. Two less zombies. Ain't gonna harm anyone. to get back onto the onto the track of things. And fortly, 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 fortly. There we go. So I've now put a forklift truck <coughs> on the front seat of my car. You see how that works, folks. Forklifts on the front of your cart. That's how it works. And then... Let's clear my area. Naming that we, we won't be able to get to another place today within the time limit. We've got about 10 minutes or so left. But... Those of you who have watched me for a good while will know my mantra. Making it safe first before you do anything. Here we go. Really? That didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Let's have a look at how my stats are doing so far. Oh, my nimble's probably getting up. So I've got foraging and carpentry to build up. My metal working's going up as well, quite nicely. Let's see a car park up here, so let's see if there's something. Look at the amount of zombies that are here. That's just redonkulous, isn't it? Oh, I didn't even see those down there. Oh, okay. Let's try... I'm going to have to work my way out here, aren't I? Yeah, I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm probably not going to get to another building now. It's basically going to be another ten minutes of me coursing off. So I'll tell you what I'll do. So that you don't get a little bit of uh, extra wide thing, I'm going to pause it there. See if I can make it myself my way to a building, and then in the four minutes we can do, we can have a look around and see what's going on here. Back in a sec. Right, it's taken me about twenty or thirty minutes to get this far. Uh, just uh, got a little bit further, then a massive horde of uh, walking zombies came along. Uh, so that was fun, but I have finally managed to get to a building. We'll just have a check to see if we can get in. Should really do a perimeter check, to be honest. But I suspect that I'm probably not going to like what's around the perimeter. For example. Yeah. 
It's, uh, today's game has been effectively just one big fight. Try to establish a handhold. Or a foot up, or whatever you want to call it. Into the area. Now, I think this place is offices, so I'm not going to be hoping too high for uh, any real form of uh, items or hard crafting stuff. back. If I can lower the... What's just here? Good. see me. I may get distracted by a window. Or not. Okay, let's see if I could take this door open there. Quick time check, I think. 36 minutes, and we're, uh, we're coming up to 40 minutes now. So let's uh, finish off by checking this place out, hopefully. Oh, good. I can hear zombies in here. I might be able to get a computer mouse or something from these desks, but I can look later for that. Just want to make sure that this area is clean. I'm hearing a lot more zombies. I wonder if they're outside. Nope. There's definitely one in here. I wonder if that window's been smashed in. Nope. They're actually just a, a native. Come on. Any zombies in here? No, good. Can't hear zombies in there. Can't hear zombies in there. Is this a stock room? Let's see what we've got here. Hammer nails. Coloured wire, good stuff. Wooden crate, aluminium. Oh, aluminium bat. That sounds quite nice. Oh, but it's two handed, isn't it? As uh, a radio. Oh, look at you. I won't dismantle that radio just yet. But I think, if I'm honest, I've just maybe hit I'll take that curry wire and the wooden crate because I know I need those for hydrocrafting. Oh well that's that's just kind of like you know Icing on top of the cake sort of thing. Anything in here? No, it looks like an empty office. 
But uh, I know that there's a, like a little room in here where I can probably use to sleep. I'll find a computer mouse as well because I know that they tend to be chalk box cutter. Fax machine. Nice. Which is the 90s, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the office room where there's no windows, I don't think. So. Right, guys. That'll be me then. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. If you like what you see, why not press that subscribe button. And if you're super duper like it, why not press the uh, bell icon so that you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. Which is usually every weekday, which is five days a week. Uh, I also Twitch. So this usually starts at 10 o'clock. I have had a few issues because... I've got a baby coming, so there may be some d disruption to my usual programming schedule. Uh, but my Project Zomboid testing of the uh, testing test branch is Fridays. So all that remains for me to say is thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.